Welcome back to my channel. It's my life the heavy. Today video is about growing up Haitian in America. All the stereotypes. But I'm going to take you back when it all begins in Haiti. So first of all, my name is Dehaiti. Not Deborah. I don't know how on earth. Do you see D-E-H-E-B-I-E? -E? And you said Deborah. Like, it makes no sense. It's not Dehibi. It's not Dehibai. It's not Debbie. It's Dehibi. Okay. Um, but from the beginning, the question to what my names means, I don't know. I thought about it. I searched on Google. I asked uh, actually someone from the Middle East told me there is um, the heavy mean gold, but it's not the same. Uh, it, it doesn't write the same way. It's like, I think it's D-A-H -A something, something, but the pronunciation is the same. So let's just make that clear. So we're going to come up What well, I'm going to give you guys a story of how my mother came up with my name. This is me thinking, okay? This is not a true story. Because if I don't give a story, then people are gonna keep asking me, like, how did your parents name you the hippie? Um, I don't know. So I think this is how it went down, okay? My mother did not prepare a name or thought of a name or anything, had no plan of what to call me. I'm the first girl. She had a boy and then I'm the first girl. So I'm thinking this is my story, okay? I'm thinking she's in pain. She gave birth to me at home. So the day off, November 15, around 10-ish, going on 11, because she always said um, I almost... I was almost born on the 16th, so it was probably around 11, something going on midnight. So she was in pain. Imagine she was at home. So I think originally my name was supposed to be Debbie. This is me thinking. So I can like, this is why I believe that story just helped me, you know, thinking like, uh -huh, okay, my name was supposed to be Debbie, but it's not Debbie, it's the heavy. So she was in pain. Imagine like if you cramping my females, ladies, you know, so she probably on her back and then she's about to push me out. And then my auntie or my grandma, I think my grandma was there. So my grandma asked her, so, you know, what you going to call her? Translation. So she wanted to say Debbie. So the pain, so she did, she made the last push, you know, Debbie. This is, listen, that's what I got. <laughs> like, this is what I got. Literally, then my name become the heavy. Period. How they come up with the spelling? That I don't know. But I know it was supposed to be Debbie. Like, okay, false story. That's all I got. But um, <laughs> growing up, growing up Haitian in America. Yeah, I had to start with the name because I have a lot of questions of like what my names mean. I don't know. Like, why my parents named me the hippie. I have no idea. Like, just believe the story I just give you because I, I believe it myself. <laughs> so, um, growing up um, in America, being Haitian, being Haitian, I people never um, ask me if I'm Haitian. Usually, I get, are you Jamaican? Are you African? You know what? African, I would say people will assume that I'm African because of what I'm wearing, the style, because mostly Africans wear like head wraps and stuff. So I don't get, like, I never get mad when people said, oh, are you African or Jamaican? Jamaican, I don't know why. Maybe it's the earrings. Some Jamaicans do. A lot of Jamaicans wrap their hair also. But usually it's because of my accent. They think I have a Jamaican accent. I don't think... I don't think I have a Jamaican accent. I know I have an accent. I Listen, I wasn't born here, but I didn't know it was Jamaican accent. So apparently I have a Jamaican accent and I look African. So I do not look Haitian. I don't know what Haitian look like. So the question, like, are you really Haitian? Um, You don't look, ha bruh, you don't look Haitian. What do Haitian look like? This is the question, like, I, I really need someone to answer. What do Haitian actually looks like? Um, it, 
funny story. A guy um, DM me on Instagram, asked me, oh, um, I said, I, he said, I think you put something in Creole. Are you Haitian? I'm like, yeah, I'm Haitian. He was like, you don't look Haitian. And I asked him, what do Haitian look like? He was like, you give me the black African vibe. And then I'm like, okay, so I'm not black. He said, no, I'm not black. And then this is, this, this was my turn, turn, turn off point. Like, so Haitians are not black. We are the first black. Listen, this, this is, this is where it gets, but we're not going to go into history, but people, Haitians are black, period, period. So let's not go there. Um, and then he told me, no, um, and then Haitians are not African. I think all black people are African. This is what I think um, from what I've read from history. I do believe all black people, Jamaicans, Haitians, wherever you come from, Trinidadians, um, you, you name them, they're all Africans. Like, we black, we black, 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 black. So the whole thing, you don't look Haitian. What, what Haitian is supposed to look like? Another one. Do you do voodoo? I was, I grew up in a Christian house. Have I heard about voodoo? Yes, I have. I grew up in Haiti, so I've heard about voodoo. Have I done voodoo? No, no, never, never. I believe in God, the men upstairs, who can do a beyond and above all things, okay? Period. I don't do voodoo. Um, well, <laughs> what about Toby? I'm not gonna name anyone. Well, obviously, she's not Haitian. Can you take me to Haiti so I can do voodoo? Because I, I know I don't like one person, da da da. If I don't believe in it, why would I take you to Haiti to do your voodoo? I'm supposed to know so I can lead you, and I, I don't do none of that. Pe no, 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 no voodoo, no, no, bye bye voodoo, no, not here. First of all, I don't do a voodoo. I don't know anything about voodoo. Not all Haitians do voodoo. No, stop it, stop, stop, stop it. Okay, no, it's not going to work. And and I, this is funny. Do you speak Haitian? This is what I'm. This is what I always wanted to ask. Do you speak American? If you don't speak American, then I don't speak Haitian. I'm really not trying to be mean or anything like that. It's just like sometimes I'm, I'm wondering what's up here, like what's in your brain. Like if I'm Haitian, if you're American, do you speak American? No, then why would I speak Haitian? Haitian is not a language. Huh. Okay, calm down. Yes, I said it. Haitian is not. Haitian speak Creole and French. That's it. Creole and French. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me? We do not speak Haitian. Period. Done. Like, don't don't do it. Do not do do not do it. Are you guys really poor? Um, do, you, do you want to go see? Do you want to move there for a month? If we weren't that poor, why would um, white people actually move to Haiti? Is America the richest country on earth? Are you that rich? Can you answer that question? Okay. Okay. Don't, don't come no offense. Just because it said no offense does not make it not offensive. This is the thing when other people, not just white people, other people said no offense. Just because you said no offense doesn't make it not offensive. You already said no offense. You said no offense because you know it's offensive to say it. Like, jeez, we're not dumb. So I'm not mad. 
from people asking. It's just like when you're going to ask a Haitian something you, you think that's going to be offensive, just don't say no offense. That's everyone, period. Don't be like, no offense. Like the moment you say no offense, I know it's going to be offensive, period. But it's just that it's funny because all my life I've dealt with stereotypes, even in Haiti when I was younger because I was lighter and I had long, natural, curly hair, they used to call me t -blanc. I remember when I passed um, for my Haitian certificate, which is, isn't it high school here or something? But you have to take like a, a, it's like a board exam. So to make sure you pass, it's not, it's not high school. I don't know. Cause in Haiti, the school system is different, but you actually had to take a, like, a board exam to pass so you can go to the next school. So I remember when I passed, I think I was the fifth one um, to online, like as the wrench. And then I remember um, my principal went and says, um, number uh, five, the heavy Sabrina Elise, t -wush. And I'm like, t -wush? Let me translate that. Little red. This means I'm light, I was light skinned. t -wush is like, this is the like they just labeled you. <laughs> Once you hear that tewish, you know it's you. Like I'm the tewish of the school because I was light skinned and then I look mixed basically. And it's like something I've dealt with all my life. So it's not like I get mad with stereotypes. It's just funny. Like I wish someone would just look at me and be like, okay, this girl is Haitian. Her name is just different. Um, that's just all about her it's not that she she's jamaican or african or she's trying to be this trying to be that she doesn't do voodoo and and don't don't, don't come with the no offense and oh well i have t blanc i have t wush t blanc there was another name that called me t blanc mean little white so I was the little white girl, the little white mixed girl. And then it's funny because when you tea blind to wish, they assume that you have money. So everyone thought I had money. So I was just like, okay, if you think I have money, I'm rich, I'm mixed. Because when you when you white and Haiti, that's mean you got money. So if you light skin, you'll probably mix one of these white people, you know, hook up with a black boy and then you happen to be, that did not happen to me by the way. You know, you happen to be a baby from a white and a black person, so you mix in Haiti. So you must have money. So everybody assumed that I have money. So I live a pretty good life. Hey, if you think I have money, I was falling. <laughs> but yeah, um, these are this is the all the stereotypes like what I face in my life. Um, Haiti and in here. Um, funny story, um, when I came here. I got, um, I was sitting in the jeepney, like, you know, the bus, but the Haitian one, like the jeepney, the smaller one, they basically in Miami, I think, mostly in Miami, I don't think for, even for Florida, that don't have them, well, I, I'm not sure, but um, I got in the jeepney, but at that time, I was really skinny, skinny, I just came from Haiti, so I was a little lighter and stuff like that, and then this person sit right next to me, cussing me out, like, Fool, like a Haitian cussing me out going in just because I said, I, I think I either step on his foot or something. And I said, I'm sorry because, you know, if, if the jeepney was packed. So, you know, when somebody, I don't know if you ever get into a jeepney, but if you're in Miami, you know what I'm talking about. So, when the somebody got in, so I had to move and I stepped on his foot. Ooh, chill. This man went in, talk about these Africans should have just taken the bus while you in the jeepney. This is for Haitians. And then the another, another was that I don't think she's African. She might be mixed. She might be from Jamaica. Nobody thought for one second that this girl could have been a Haitian girl and can understand every word that's coming out of their mouth. They went in. Like when I tell you, they went in on me. And that. And it wasn't the first time. It's funny because I've experienced that so many times, even in Haiti. Well, in Haiti, I understand. Like when I go to Haiti last time, someone cussed me out in Haiti. It was funny. I laughed. That was the funniest when I laughed. And I was like, well, messy, mommy. Well, thank you, mommy. Because she went in on me. She thought I, she thought I came to take pictures of like 
of them at the flea market so i went to the team shave the flea market and then i happy i didn't go with my phone i was just dressing like normal haitian blah 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 the only thing was my hair was wrapped not even like that but like a smaller plain color it's just like it's something about me that makes them think that i'm not haitian for some odd reason and i'm like okay hey i'm not going to judge it you know so I had like a uh, flip flop. I was just simple. Like when I go to Haiti, I'm just like, whatever. I'm not going to act like a diaspora, nothing like that. The only thing is my hair was wrapped, but I happen to have my camera with me. I don't take my phone to Haiti, especially at the flea market. Don't do it. So I had my camera cord was around my neck so they couldn't just take it and run unless you shoot me or something. Like how are you going to grab my camera and run your phone? Yeah, they're going to take it. So I took a picture of um, the old wall, like that was really up. Um, it was like, they, they have a nice design on the wall. I'm like, oh, this is so cute. So I stopped in the front, I took a picture of it. But for some odd reason, I don't know what she was looking at. She thought I was taking a picture of the vendors in the front. And then she felt like I invaded her privacy. Like I'm going to take the pictures and come to America. Well, not to America, I go to Africa to sell the pictures, which a lot of people have done and talk about how poor Haiti is. They want donation and stuff, like, et cetera. Long story short. So she was mad. I understood her um, frustration. But it's funny that I didn't take a picture of her, period. So she was cussing me out, and then I had um uh, someone with me, and then he was like, what do you want me to do? I'm like, don't worry, let her finish. I let her let everything out. She expressed herself. And then after that, I said, messy mommy. And I showed her my camera, and she apologized to me. She was like, I'm sorry, I thought you were taking picture. I didn't know you were Haitian. I said I understood. And the funny part, the, there was a, another guy standing there. He swore. I remember he swore. He was like, if he had a gun, he would have shoot me. Just for taking picture of a wall. They thought I was taking pictures of them. This is like, and then he's like, oh, you Haitian? You know what? Did you ask if I was Haitian? And then you, you saw me smiling, laughing. That's me. I understood what you were saying. Like, it's really hard to, like, not laugh when they're talking about me in front of me. But I remember specifically that time I was laughing. But they thought I was just, I don't know what they thought. Like, I was laughing at the people walking by. Like, it's, it's crazy. So, stereotype is... I, I, I can't all my life all my life but sometimes I enjoy it I like when people are talking thinking that I do not understand what they're saying or assuming that I'm from a different country like and start talking about Jamaica but which is good because I've been to Jamaica so sometimes I know what they're talking about then I did I'm like but I'm not Jamaican though but thank you for telling me all these things I, I remember I passed that area last time I went to visit so we good you know we good but this is it for my stereotype um growing up Haitian American in America in my experience going when I was living in Haiti and when I went back to visit um but this this month of May, I'm going to post mostly Haitian related videos. I hope you guys enjoy them. Comment, share, let me know your stories, stereotype being Haitian American and stuff like that. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.